right, students, today I'm going to help you with your FAVIS landscape. Um, we're going to be creating a drawing based off this image, and then when you start coloring it with color pencil, you are going to make sure you use colors in a new way. As you notice in the picture, the colors are used in a very strange way, like the blue mountains and the green clouds um, aren't something you would usually see in a realistic painting. So in our drawing and our coloring, we're going to do something similar. So to get started with our drawing, to get started with our drawing, we're going to make sure our paper is um, this way in portrait orientation. And we're going to start by drawing a line three quarters of the way up. And then we're going to draw the mountains. So I'm using triangular shapes to make the mountains. And then we'll add a couple clouds in the sky. And guys, be sure to pause this as needed. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start right here in the middle of this line and I'm going to make some curvy shapes over and over again and I'm eventually going to go off the page. And I'm going to do something similar on this side as well. And now we're going to make some lines going down and they're going to curve down a little bit. And some of them I might add an additional curved line in it. Do the same thing to the other side. And not all of them are going to touch. So it looks something like that. And if we look back at our example image, you can kind of see what I'm going for on those there. Oh, okay, there we go. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw that little river that we saw in between this valley. So I'm going to do a wavy line here and I'm going to start real close to my original line. But as I get further away, I'm making it bigger. Okay, and the last step is to add the little trees that were sticking up through this valley. So I'm just going to make these shapes to represent the trees. They kind of look like pine trees to me. So there's not a lot of detail there. It's basically just the shape. So we're going to add a few of those. And as they get further away from us, they're going to get smaller for the most part. And the ones that are closer to us are going to be bigger. We might have a few up on top of the mountains. So it's mainly just shapes. So once you get to this part, you're basically done with the outline of everything. So now you're going to use color pencil to color everything. So I'm going to go back to our example image and point out some of the unusual use of color. So you can see this purple shadow on the side of this valley, the mountains, the blue um, mountains in the background also have like a reddish pink shadow on some of them, the bright green sky, even some of the bright oranges on the other side of the image. So remember the fobs used color in a very unusual way because they wanted their artwork to stand out compared to other art forms and other artistic styles. So when you're doing your coloring with color pencil on your drawing, make sure you kind of take the same approach. So use colors however you want. You don't have to focus on trying to make it look like a real sky or a real mountain or however you want. 